Hello everyone! If you follow the channel, you know that whoops are one of my favorite quads. And one of my most repetitive questions that I get on the channel is how do we improve our ability to control whoops? Whoops are a little bit harder, you know, it's a smaller platform and by nature it's a little less stable. We fly them inside so we have a decreased margin for error. Of course, when it comes to uh, getting better at flying quads overall, we have several options. We can fly in real life, we can fly in various simulators. Uh, we could watch others potentially learn. We can have someone that maybe can verbalize our way through some maneuvers or flight skill sets and listen to them, get some coaching by chance. But what I bring you today is probably one of the ways I hear most of you that come to the Kent channel and talk about how your flight skills, specifically your whoop flying skills, have improved so much by being involved in iGAO. Many of you are already familiar with iGAL and you've heard various other people that are micro enthusiasts just like myself talk about iGAL and iGAL season four is now open for registration. The season's gonna be a little bit different and I don't have all the details down pat. Although I did spend some time on the phone with uh, Daniel Sagano. Uh, he is, uh, I would say, El Presidente, along with his queen, uh, Liz, are running iGAL. There's a whole bunch of prizes involved and there's a whole bunch of time that they've committed over the years to this project. Uh, and so they're trying to evolve it in a, a more manageable way. They've had 9, 10, 11, 12 hour streams going through all the video submissions. Maybe I'm jumping ahead of myself a little bit. What is iGAL? Well, iGAL is a lot like, well, what I think of it is a lot like when you were a kid playing basketball and you wanted to have a game, but you didn't want to play like one-on-one, -on -one, so you didn't have the right sort of numbers. And so somebody shoots a shot and then the next person has to follow and whoever doesn't get the shot uh, gets a letter. So you, you would play, you know, pig or something like that. Well, iGAO is the same way, although there's some tweaks to it. Uh, you have pre-seasons to where you're doing various tricks and maneuvers that are much more uh, friendly to those that are getting started. And it continues to progress up through some mind bending tricks. And if you have been involved in iGAL, please go down in the comment section and let people know about your thoughts and your past experience and it where you started and where your flight skills developed and, and just kind of leave some encouragement for others because I, I really promote this a lot because one, I love whoops. And I think what Dan and Liz and, and all the sponsors of iGAL are doing are really promoting the fun side of this hobby. Uh, for a time, flying quads was a little bit cutthroat and people were kind of nasty. I hope that's kind of settled in a little bit. But I think the whoop, tiny whoop specifically, has really been fostered as to a fun and open community of people who just enjoy flying and enjoy being with others. And this is some way that everybody across the globe can come together and compete and learn and have fun all at the same time and you can win prizes uh, last report i saw there was over twenty thousand dollars worth of prizes there is a separate tier for those hero line or that top uh, line of prizes that does involve getting involved in patreon but you don't have to in order to participate in iGAL and you don't have to join Patreon in order to receive any of the other $15,000 worth of prizes. And if your flight skills develop, you might become a iGAL and Tiny Whoop team pilot. And if that's a goal of yours, this is going to be a great way of doing it. We've seen a number of champions and not just champions, but people who have come in second and maybe even third or fourth also become team pilots. And you don't have to be a top flight pilot to get started. As I said earlier, they've got preseason weeks that you can get started with. And even if you eye gal out, I guess, it used to be whoop out, uh, and you are no longer enlisted in the competitive side of getting to that championship, you can still follow along and learn from others. There's going to be, I believe, there's going to be opportunities to uh, maybe get some coaching with some of our other top flight uh, whoop pilots out there there's going to be all sorts of live streams i know infinity loops is getting involved we'll see jesse perkins involved mr tiny whoop himself and so i i just want to try to make a short video to encourage you if you have a whoop like this little guy or anything like it go down to that link in the video description or just type into your web browser internationalgameofwhoop.com and read all the information that has now been posted and also click that registration button and get registered. 
It's free. It can't hurt you at all. It might hurt your pocketbook if you get hooked into uh, really trying to have fun and explore your flight skills or expand your flight envelope because you're going to crash and break stuff. So maybe uh, do a little bit of saving here in the next couple of weeks before it officially all gets started so you can build up your wallet for some extra parts if you don't have extra parts or extra whoops of your own. But again, for those that have... Uh, been involved in iGout in the past, go down in the comment section, uh, talk about your experience, how it's helped you, encourage others to get involved. And even if you fly like me all by yourself, you know, and you don't have even a, a really good indoor space, you can do most, if not all of the iGout stuff outside or in a garage, or you don't have to do it inside. Um, like if you have an apartment or a relatively small indoor living space, or you live with others that you can't really be flying around, you can still do this and it will really help you improve your skills. It's probably the best way I've heard anyone who comes to the channel and talking about their ability to fly, specifically whoops, but in general, it really pushes uh, us to achieve these challenges that are thrown our way. I competed in the first year. It was a little bit tough time management wise, but, uh, and I've been a judge in years past. And so now I just kind of try to promote this because I think it's really fun. And I think the time that Dan and Liz have spent building this up is really valuable for the community. And if you want to get involved in some of that top line of uh, prizes that you can win. It does involve get involved in Patreon. There's a secondary bonus to Patreon, I believe, which is you get to see what the trick is. I think it's 48 hours before everybody else. So there's a little bit of a bonus there, especially if you think you might need more time. Maybe you uh, have a busy life. You have kids and family of your own. And so necessarily uh, getting the extra 48 hours might benefit you as well. So again, go to internationalgameofwoop.com or click the link down in the video description. Go read all the information that they've now posted on their website. Get involved, have some fun. I'll be out here watching. I might even try to incorporate a little bit of the flight skills that you all are developing during iGal 4 some of my own flights because I get inspiration from you all as well. All right, click that link, get involved, have some fun. I'll be watching. I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.